Hi, let's install Landstar from scratch on a brand new Android device. If you bought Landstar or you're thinking about buying Landstar from iGage, get a copy of the printed user manual. On page three, there's a getting started quick guide and it'll take you to how to install, update, and provision Landstar. Currently it's on page 223. That'll probably change over time. So, there's two ways to install Landstar. You can do it from the Play Store. You'll get an old version. If you install it from the iGage website, you'll get a brand new version. So I'm gonna take this brand new tablet and we'll open up Chrome, make a new tab. We're gonna browse to the address iGage.com. At the top of the iGage website, there's a link to out. And then you'll see a link to Landstar distribution and then to latest version. So if we click on whatever version might be here and then click on download anyway, it will download the file and put it in the download folder on the tablet. After it downloads, click on open and you'll get a warning the first time that you try and download an application on Chrome that there's a security issue. If you click on settings and then come to Chrome and slide the slider switch over, it'll then ask you if you want to install Landstar. Now with permissions, it can, and it will install Landstar and we can open it. When it first opens, we're going to allow it to have any of the accesses that it requires to run. So we'll allow that, we'll allow that, We'll allow that, we'll allow that. The first time Landstar starts, it'll take a couple of extra seconds to initialize the directory structure. After it starts, it's going to ask you whether you want to have a classic style theme or a simple style. All of the user manual uses the classic style, so you'll probably want to pick the classic style initially. I'm going to click do not confirm because I don't want to be asked this question over and over again. And I'll click on OK. Immediately, Landstar is going to ask you to install a localization package. Click on yes. Click on United States and it'll download the package. This has all of the geoids and some of the projections and some of the custom settings for the United States. After a, after a few minutes, the localization file will download and be installed. Click on close here. We're ready now to create a new project. So let's click on projects, click on new at the bottom, um, the job name is fine. Let's click on coordinate system, predefined. For the, user, for the uh, region, we'll pick the United States. Add 83 is fine. I'm in Utah Central, so I'll come down to the bottom. Pick Utah Central. Click on select. Click on next. Come over to vertical adjustment. And for the geoid file, Currently, we want to pick GOA 2018 US. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And now we have a new project. If you come up to the top left corner, we can set all of the software settings. So keyboard shortcuts. We can assign keys to the side keys on the device. I'm going to turn on Auto OK. That'll save me having to click OK on a lot of menus. Under Units, Angle, Degrees, Minutes, Seconds, Azimuth, Bearings, because we can only count to 90. The de Degree, Degree, Dot, Minute, Minute, Second, Second, Second will be faster for inputs. Latitude and Longitude Input Mode, same. Display, I like Degrees, Minutes, Seconds with the, the symbols. For the horizontal distance in Utah, I'm going to pick U.S. Survey Feed. For the vertical distance, um, we actually use international feed. For my area of measure, I'm going to use square miles. For my volume unit, I'm going to use cubic yards. 
And for stationing, I'm going to pick the second item. So now all of my settings are set to the ones that I prefer for, um, for my, my unit settings are set to what I prefer. Let's set up the number of decimal points. We're okay here. Um, I like six places on the latitude and longitude. Everything else looks fine. Go back. Coordinate order. We want northing and then easting, of course. And then we get into GNSS settings. Most of the options in here are just fine. So we'll leave that unchanged, but the tolerances will limit you from taking points that have high HRMS and VRMS. Differential age is the age of corrections from your base or your network base. Um, the rest of the values, well, let's set minimum used to 8. It's inconceivable to me that we would ever have less than that. Okay, we're good. We'll go back. I think everything is set up now how I'd like it. I'm going to click the Save to Default button in the corner so that if I make a new job, the new job has the defaults that I just entered. We'll go back. And at this point, we're ready to activate Landstar. So I'll see you in the next video where we do just that.